Welcome back ladies and gents, welcome back to another video on the channel, so today we're going to be looking at something like this. Hello YouTube, let's get started with the video. Oh yay make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get started with the video. Okay, so first off we are going to need a couple of plugins, so the ones you're going to need, oh the ones definitely one you will need which is the move transition plugin which is this one here again we've done plenty of videos on the channel uh, i will link a few in the description go and check them out honestly the move transition plugin is amazing and i don't know why you ain't got it already if you haven't so uh, but we're going to need the move transition plugin <coughs> and especially the move uh, the audio move section of it uh the other one i use is the win capture audio again there are other ways of doing it. You can use it through different means, but this, for me, I found this is the best way. Um, it, but you can use things like voice meter, which I find just it's just complicated anyway. <laughs> um, or if you've got a Go XLR and stuff like that, there are ways of mixing your audio that way. Um, so we're going to go in to, uh, into OBS. So first off, we're going to need to add in a couple of bits. So I've set up a, a TTS scene. Um, we're going to add in a couple of sources. So you can do this how you want, but for me, I found this is funnier. That I've got uh, an open and a uh, and a closed mouth um, PNG, uh, so it's going to be like a pop pop cat effect, effectively. But it's going to be funny because it's it's I just use it as me. So find what you want, do it how you will. But I found this was quite a funny way of doing it. Um, first thing though, we are going to add those two sources in. Put them where you want on the screen, <coughs> on the scene even. I'm just going to keep them on the on the left because we'll show you why in a second. They're going to come in and uh, anyway. So the next bit we're going to need to do is going to add in with using the audio wind capture. Um, we're going to add in BQ Bots audio. Um, so we we'll right click, add an audio application, and we, again I've done a video on it before. Do check it out um, and how to do it. But yeah, we'll add, add the audio in there. So show you there. It's properties, and then you select BQ Bot from the list. It's it's simple. So this one is all added in. To make it all work, we're going to need to right click on BQ Bot and go to filters. We need to add in a audio move. In fact, we're going to add in two, but we'll uh, I didn't name it. There we make. Let's rename it because I'm bad at doing it. I'm shocking. I need to do it more. <laughs> Closed mouth so we'll call that closed mouth and press enter we do need the, the there's a couple of bits we do need to make sure we've got right here so the magnitude is one one of them we need that at easing at two transform we need to change that to source visibility we need to find the scene that it's on which is the tts one oh i didn't click it try again tts then we need the source which i always get wrong i think the closed mouth one is the seven double check Nope, closed mouth one is the OA one. Right, I, I need to rename stuff. I need to do it. I'm I'm shocking at it. <laughs> and then what? This is the important bit. So we need to do it. So it's enable when it's over, and disable when it's under. So let's just do that. Yeah. So uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this one, and we're going to paste it. This time we're just going to rename it uh, to open mouth, and then we just need to change a couple of bits on this one. So that obviously the the source is going to be different. We're going to do that one, and then we're going to change it to. Uh, hang on, we got these the wrong way round. I've got them the wrong way round. Got them the wrong way round. Right, that one's enable under. And disable when it's over and then this one's the other way around there we go so you're left with the one with the closed mouth open uh, closed mouth on the screen the the open one is off until we we trigger it so the next bit we're going to do is we're going to go into a scene whatever scene you've got it on you need to add it into it um but we're going to add it into here. We've already added it in, but we're going to delete that one. We'll remove it. Nested scenes are amazing. So, again, I've got a video on it. So, check it out. Uh, I'll put a link again. More links in the description. Add uh, scene. 
and then we're going to go TTS. So you're going to need, if you want this to work on every scene, you need to add it into every scene. So, um, so now we've got that added in. Perfect. A couple of little bits we're going to need to add now, make it really, really work well, is we're going to add in a show and hide transition. The, ever since they put these in uh, to OBS, they are brilliant. So we're going to put a swipe. I think we have to do it right. Let's just preview it. So this will, when it when it enables it, it will swipe, slide in from the right. And then we're going to do a hide one. Slide. And we're going to do that to the left. The only other bit I will change quickly, because I forgot to do it, because 300 milliseconds is very slow. It's very slow, very quick even. I'm going to change that to 1,000 milliseconds. And we're going to do that there. So, as an example, when this becomes enabled, and we're going to use BQBot in a second to show you how to do this, it slides in and it brings in the house. So, the next bit we're going to do, we're just going to turn that one off for now, because we're going to go into BQBot. I have already set one up, but we'll show you how to do it. So, I've created it as a channel point. You can do any, 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 uh, you can do it as a, as a command and stuff like that but the beauty of bqbot is it's so damn easy so we're going to start up a new one we're going to call this test pop cat we're going to have it at a, i don't know 250 add it for oh that's too much i right? took the one out uh we're going to put user input because we do need a user input for this uh this creates the point directly into twitch as long as you've got your, your account linked up which you should have anyway it will put it into Twitch. We can put a cooldown. We can put uh, enable limits. We don't want any limits on this. We're just going to go for it. The first off we're going to do, with the beauty of BQBot, is the drag and drop functionality. We're going to put about two, maybe three second delay on it. Um, we're then going to do an OBS function. So drag this across. I do need to, the only bit I need to do, which you wouldn't have to, but because I've got multiple OBSs, we do need to change a couple of bits. And select the scene. And we need to select the, the source, which is the TTS. And we're going to toggle that on. So just a quick test to show where we are. We can test all these. Make sure I've got it connected. Have I selected the right one? Oh, I clicked the wrong play. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't do stuff. Are you learning from me? I don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> the next bit we're going to put in is a TTS module. This is where we need to select user import. This is important. Where are we? User import <coughs> is important. And we're just going to pick that up there. Put it up to 100%. It just it makes life a lot easier. You can hear it and all that jazz. So I um, <laughs> can't believe it. <laughs> um, the, the, the next bit we're going to do is we're going to add in another pause. I like to just put a little pause at the end just before it disappears. Otherwise, it pops off the screen too quick. So only going to be like a second. Um, the next bit we will add in, and we're just going to copy the uh, the OBS control. We're just going to drag this all the way to the bottom. So it's down at the bottom. Uh, I'm just going to delete that one out of there. Again, I just have to select the U YouTube one. We're going to select the scene and the source, and we're going to toggle it off. Okay. So now, make sure also make sure this bit's yellow on 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 BQ bot, or else it will just it skips everything and it just leave that bit as it is. Now we're just going to save that. Oh, if I click it, that's now going to create a channel point. If you're going to do it in time, uh, if you're going to do it in commands, obviously it's just a command. It's simple. Um, now what we're going to do, going to have a little test. This is a test. There we go. This is a test and it works flawlessly. If we're going to do a channel point, so let's do a test one. Uh, this is another test of bongo, can't spell, bongo pop. Enter that. This is another test of bongo pop. There we go. Simple, nice, easy. You've only got minimum minimum modules in there. Not many. 
and it's so easy. So when somebody types a message in, and it it'll just it'll just work. It will just work. All right, peeps. Hopefully this helps. If you do have any questions, do hit me up either on Twitter, uh, Discord, in the comment sections below. Um, there are I'll link a lot of the videos. Either there'll be a couple of them in there that I've mentioned in the video or in the description below. That's for now, ladies and gents. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out.